Hi, in this video we're going to introduce hash maps. So let's say you wanted to program a phone book. What data structures would you use? You have a list of people and a list of their numbers, but the key thing here is that you want to be able to look up a number from a name. Currently we've looked at arrays, array lists, and 2D arrays, and none of them are really suited to do this. Introducing hash maps a data structure to store key value mappings. So what does a hash map look like? A hash map really looks something like this, where you have some value on the left, and it's connected to some other value on the right. So Ada Lovelace, we have an arrow to her number. George Boole, we have an arrow to his number. Grace Hopper, we have an arrow to her number. The idea is, given a person's name, we can look up the corresponding value. So on the left, those are called the keys. The keys are the values that we can use to look something up. And values, that's, that's what you get when you look something up in a map. So you, the key is the name, the value is the phone number. So a key is the value used to look something up in the map. Blue Ada Lovelace is the key. The value is the result you get when you look up the entry for a key. Here we have Ada Lovelace's phone number. Together these are called a key value pair. So both of those together, that's the key value pair in blue. So there's an important note about hash map is that in a hash map, each key is only associated with one value. So how do we create a map? Well, to create a map, first, uh, a map is templatized over the key type and the value type. So if we want a hash map of strings to strings called phone book, it's a new hash map of strings to strings. And then don't forget the open close parentheses for the constructor. Like our array list, it's parameterized over two types, the key type and the value type. If we want to put things in the map, the general form for that is map.put key comma value. For example, to put an entry in our phone book, we say phone book dot put Alan Turing and then a number for Alan Turing. If we call put with the same key, what that will do is actually overwrite the existing value because you can only have one value for every key. So uh, to get things in a map, uh, what we do is we call the get method. So if we want to get Alan's number, we say string Alan's number equals phone number dot get Alan Turing. And so we pass in the key there. If we want to loop over a map, what you do is we can use a for each loop, uh, looping through every string in the phone book's key set. And so the key set is the set of keys in our phone book. And so then within our loop, we can say string number equals phone book dot get key that returns the value. And then we can print out the key and the value. So important other note on maps is that you cannot depend on the order of the key set or any of the key value pairs in the hash map. Uh, by design, the ha this, the hash map implementation is unordered, so it can be really fast. So here are some of the hash map methods. We've only talked about a few, uh, but you can ask if a map contains a key. Uh, you can ask if the map is empty. You can get the key set. You could put in a key value pair. You can remove a key. You can get the size. So there's a bunch of methods you can use, and this is a screenshot of that Javadoc reference. So let's explore this in our editor. Okay, so let's write our phone book program. So to start off, we'll make a hash map of strings to strings called phone book, and it's a new hash map, strings to strings, and open close parentheses. Now let's put in the phone number. So we'll say phone book dot put, and then the key is Alan Turing, and then a phone number. Great, now we'll put in another entry, phonebook.put, Ada Lovelace. Put in another entry for George Boole. And we'll put in one more entry for Grace Hopper.
Great. And now let's test out the get method. How can we get something out of the map? So we'll say string Alan's number equals phone book dot get Alan string. And here we should expect to get that first number, 312-423-1234. So we'll print that out to test. We'll say system.println Alan's number plus Alan's number. Let's run that. There you go, we get the correct value. And now let's print out that full phone book. So we'll say system.out.println the full phone book. Now we're gonna use our for each loop over the key set. So we'll say for string key in phone book dot key set. Key set is a method. Then we'll get that value, call it number. So we'll say the number is equal to phone book dot get of key. And we'll print that out. So we'll say system dot print line key plus number. So let's print that out. So there you go, you can see that we have our full phone book. So we'll run it again, and there you go, you can see what it does. So it, a map, essentially, is a way to store key value pairings. Key value pairings are really handy when you wanna look something up, like you wanna look up a number from a name in a phone book, or you wanna look up a word definition from a word in a dictionary.